The Analytics app provides key reports on how your products and campaigns are performing in the expert network. On your initial dashboard, you'll see a thumbnail view of all the reports that are available to you. These reports show expert activity that is relevant to your brand, such as orders placed or edge games taken. Managing dashboards. Reports on your dashboard may be renamed, duplicated, or removed. To reorder your reports, simply drag and drop them across the dashboard. Additional reports may be added to your dashboard from the Reports Library. Use the Add Reports to Dashboard button to view a list of all the reports available to your organization. Once you've identified a report to add, just drag and drop it onto your dashboard. You can even add multiple instances of the same report. Just adjust the filters in each to view side-by-side -side data. For example, this could help you compare your sales over time across multiple product lines or between multiple states. Creating new dashboards. You can create as many dashboards as you like and switch between them using the list on the left. Dashboards that you create will be visible to anyone at your organization. Filtering. Each report provides various filtering options to slice and dice the expert activity against campaigns, timeframes, products, or courses. To access the filters, click on the report's title. You'll be redirected to a full screen report where you can adjust the filtering options. Please note that changing a filter will cause the report to change and also shift the allowed values for other filters. For example, in this sales overtime report, I am filtering it to show retail audience only. Choosing to save the filters you've adjusted will update the way your report appears on the dashboard, making it easy to get the most up-to-date information about the expert activity that matters most to you. Email subscription. If you'd like to receive regular email summaries about a specific report, open the full screen report and click subscribe in the bottom toolbar, where you can select how often you'd like to receive the emailed report. For example, here I am subscribing to the sales overtime report at a weekly cadence. Alerting. You can also receive email alerts when reports reach a certain goal. To create an alert, select an access that you'd like to be alerted about and click the alert button at the bottom of the toolbar. Then set a threshold value and the condition. For example, here I am creating an alert on the sales over time report to notify me when yearly sales exceed $25,000. Changing time window grouping. By default, education over time and sales over time are grouped by months on the time axis. Clicking on the plus or minus hover option on the time axis allows you to change the grouping to quarter, year, or day. Help. If you have any questions or would like more information, select the help icon in the lower left corner.